Hey everyone, how are y'all today? Well, as you might have guessed by the thumbnail, today is not gonna be about the Yukon Delta. Um, today is about my 1994 Scamp camper. So I think now would be a good time to say, talk a little bit about my channel. So my channel is not about boat restoration, which is a good thing for y'all because well, I don't know anything about restoring a boat. So it's just a, I'm learning as I go. But my channel is kind of a hobby channel or a personal vlog. You know, I'm doing it because I hope, you know, that y'all are going to be, show some interest in some of the stuff I do. But a lot of it I'm doing for myself because I want to have the memories and what better place to do it than on YouTube. So... You know, I, I like to be able to see my projects and watch myself as I go through them. So, you know, hopefully y'all enjoy watching it too. But today is going to be about my scamp and I'll give y'all a little tour around it um, and tell y'all a little bit about it. I've had it for a little over a year, year and a half, two years, something like that. I can't really remember. Um, I've done several of the projects in it already. I've still got more to do in it, and I'll tell you about that. So, here we go. All right, so some things about this scamp. When I purchased it, somebody had turned it all electric. So they had removed all the gas appliances, the furnace, the cook stove, all that stuff. And I guess they did that to suit their needs, but it just really didn't work for me. So. I'll kind of tell you what some of the stuff I've done. Also, here on the tongue, I wish I had started YouTube earlier. That way I could have just really, you know, started from the beginning of my project, kind of like I'm doing with the houseboat. But the tongue, they had an inch and seven eighths ball on this, I believe, and it was welded so terribly. It just was so sketchy. So, um, I cut all that off and put a regular two inch ball on it. Um, put a new jack on it, um, put a couple protein tanks, and I had to put a whole new carrier on it, uh, put a battery on it because they didn't even have the power converter in it. It was just straight, you plug it into electricity or you don't use anything on it. Um, the only thing I didn't really have to redo that I'm glad they did was they put an air conditioner in it. Um, it gets really hot and humid here in Arkansas, so that's been very helpful. They had a little storage door here, which is kind of handy. It's where I store my power cord and stuff. And then I had to add a fresh water tank because they, they took all the water out. I built this storage rack on it so it's all welded and tied into the frame I can stand on it you know to access the roof to clean the roof stuff like that but so it's stout but it's not a good idea to carry a whole lot of weight on the back just because it's a single axle trailer and it does not pull well so I usually just store bigger items on here so I put coolers, lawn chairs, empty water jugs. So bigger, bulkier, lightweight items. And it's really great for that. So this hot water heater tank was not in it originally. I had to cut a hole in the side of the trailer and install it. Um, I actually just used wood as a brace because the way the trailer curves inward it wasn't level so if i show you from this angle see how it sits level there um, it gets stored under out of the weather like under an awning all year so i'm not too worried about rot on the wood which i painted over it and i sealed around it and it doesn't leak around it and it's it's worked you know i, I would have liked to have done fiberglass or something but it's worked well this was where the refrigerator was originally when the camper was made. Um, right now, there's nothing on the other side of this, these vents, other than a board 
to keep the weather out and it's sealed up with insulation so i'll kind of tell you a little bit about some of my plans on the inside and some of my thoughts so i may end up doing away with this and fiberglassing over it and making it smooth and weather tight again but we'll see uh, this is the outtake for the furnace i had to add that as well so anyways let's go inside and check this little dude out all right so this is a couch area um originally it would have been a bunk bed area so right here is kind of the the base of it and there would have been a board that came down here that would fold up and the mattress would go over it so it made for like a miniature bunk bed area for kids and stuff which i plan on going back to that because as you know i have two children if you've watched my previous videos so i'd like to go back to that that way they both have an area to sleep in here uh, this is a very small bathroom uh, it's just a toilet there's no shower in here but it gets the job done there's my black stone griddle the table it's absolutely essential when you're going on camping trips i love that thing all right, so this area, well, let me get back to that. So this is a booth um, that turns into a bed. I usually just leave it as a bed and we just eat outside. I got a foam mattress, a thick foam mattress, and I cut it to fit the shape. So it just stays there all the time. And it's really comfortable for my girlfriend and I. We sleep really great back here. I put a TV in here. I installed it on an angle bracket here. I usually just set it down. I take it off of it and just set it on the bed or something during travel. It's real easy to throw back up there. All right, this is a kitchen area. So this was original to the trailer. Uh, only changes I would kind of like to do with this is I thought about adding a drawer in right here because there's no drawers. It'd be a handy place to keep silverware and stuff, but it's not necessary. Um, so this used to just be a closet. So whoever owned it before me put in a straight electric refrigerator right here, which I guess is kind of nice because it's bigger than what would have originally came in here, but it does take up a lot of your closet space, which... We went on a 10 day trip in here and down here we used quite a bit of storage and there's storage underneath each side of the bottom of the bed. And then since we don't use this as a bed anymore, there's a pretty big, or as a booth anymore, I'm sorry. There's a pretty big storage area underneath here to use. So we just put like a couple laundry baskets down there and we had each of our clothes in it. So it's just able to slide it in and out. All right, so right here, the person before me, there used to be a kitchen area right here, and there would have been a refrigerator right here that was gas or electric, a power converter, and a furnace down here, and of course cabinets, and there would have been a cook stove on it. Well, they didn't like that, I guess, since I told you they converted it all and took all the gas appliances out and everything, so they just turned it into a bench, and I'd have to look to see if I can find any pictures, but... It was so horrible. It was extremely uncomfortable. It really didn't serve any purpose because you had seating area here and I don't know. I guess that's just what they wanted to each their own. But for me personally, this works out much better. Um, I built this myself. So that's why it's not the prettiest, but it works. I um, put a power converter in so um, I'm able to run a battery and run battery powered lights and also that's the hot water heater switch so you just turn it on and it comes on automatically so it's very handy oh and that's the water pump because I installed a water tank put another water pump in and then over here is a propane gas heater that I actually got out of an old pop-up and it heats this thing incredibly 
And since I put gas appliances back in, I went ahead and put a LP gas leak detector. You know, gotta be safe. And I put in a little small gas cook stove that I bought off of Amazon. And then for storage, I just put a couple totes in here and I've got bungee cords that go across to hold it in place while you're traveling. It works really well. Is this one I put pots, pans and stuff like that in. And over there, I just put some canned goods and different grocery items. Um, and then for the propane gas heater, I installed the thermostat over here right by the bed. So which is really handy. So if you're cold in the middle of the night, you can just reach over and click it on and warm it up. Um, let's see, there's a vent up here. It was all cracked and the trailer's a 94. And so since they've done away with the size of the vent hole, so I had to cut out part of the fiberglass and install this whole new door and that was wow that was quite the quite the, the chore but it's a, also an escape hatch um since there's only one door on this camper i guess that's part of the regulation they have to have um so some of the things i would like to do to this i already mentioned turning that back into a bunk but i've thought about putting another gas electric refrigerator in here um, maybe over here, kind of in that area, um, and then reclaiming that area as storage. But I don't know. So I took this trailer to Colorado, and we camped at about 8,000 feet above sea level. Um, hold on. Let me turn this around so you can see me. All right. So like I was saying, we took this camper to Colorado, and we camped about 8,000 feet above sea level and it did amazing so it did everything i needed it to do um, we stayed very warm um, very comfortable way better than what we would have been in a tent it snowed a lot and we probably got a total of a foot or two of snow the entire 10 days we were there and i had more than enough room to store everything i needed i carried a cooler and i was able to put more food and stuff in it and meats and different things like that and since it was cold it lasted forever like i bought ice at the beginning of the trip and it it i still had ice at the end of the trip in the cooler um and i also use it during deer camp here in arkansas which is a little warmer but we're usually not there for 10 days so it was fine it worked out great i have a 3000 watt generator it powered everything i was able to run it for about eight hours a day kept the refrigerator cold um so it really wasn't an issue. So I don't know if maybe I'm just creating more work for myself than is necessary if I do put in the gas electric refrigerator. But for right now, um, I need to definitely need to put the bunks back in because my daughter hasn't went with me anywhere in this yet. Um, when I went to Colorado, uh, neither of my children came with me. It was just my girlfriend and I um, because of school, they weren't able to get out but then in deer camp it was just my son that went with me because my daughter's not too interested in hunting yet but hopefully someday she will be but she does love to camp so i really need to get these bunk bed situation figured out and we can go on some trips this summer but i bought some stuff at lowe's yesterday and i've got some ideas on how to revert it back to its original condition maybe even a little better than originally but anyways i just kind of wanted to give you all a walk through of it and you know, tell you a little bit about my channel and being a hobby channel. So I'm just still trying to kind of figure out my niche, I guess. But anyways, I um, if y'all find the scamp interesting, it's something else I have. I have other things, projects as well that I'm sure you'll get to see in due time. But um, anyways, follow along, give me a like, subscribe, and we'll see what happens with this. And maybe we'll get to take you along on some camping adventures this summer. I know I definitely hope to get out and get away from the house. Anyways, I hope y'all have a great day. Thanks for following along. Bye.